Hey everyone, I'm Dan and I'm building this Expedition truck. If you saw my last video, you'll know that we've developed quite a nasty knock in the engine. So today I'm going to have a look into that. And I want to say thanks to everyone for your support and encouragement on my last video. I think there may always have been a problem with the engine. It's always blown a bit of smoke and there may have been a few noises that my ear just isn't finely tuned enough to pick up. I'm also grateful that it happened half an hour from home and not halfway across the Nullarbor. But the comments and the encouragement and support I get from you guys is, it is very uplifting and it does really spur me on. So I, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching this and let's have a look. I took a video last night of the noise that the engine's making. Uncle Gary was here and we were having a bit of a look at it. This is what it sounds like. It doesn't sound good. It sounds like something's going on with one of the pistons. Maybe a piston skirt's cracked or I'm not sure. But I also disconnected the EDIC motor from the engine so you can turn the engine over without it starting. And when you do that, It sounds, it sounds to me like there's no compression in one of the cylinders. There's also a bit of a squeaking, squeaking noise, so I'm not sure what that is. It could be that one of the pistons is cracked and it's like leaning over in the cylinder and it's kind of scraping up and down the bore. The best thing, or well, the first thing I'm going to do is take the sump off. It's pretty, it's easy to do and it's a good place to start with something like this because you can see everything that's going on inside the engine for the most part. So we're going to do that now. I've got the sump off and I've had a look up inside the engine. I've inspected all the bores and had a bit of a look underneath the rods there and there's nothing obvious that I can see. Can't see any scoring on any of the bores or anything like that. So that's non-conclusive, but we did find something a little bit troubling in the sump. So I had a bit of a dig through the sump and this is what I found. chunks of metal they're definitely metal they're magnetic and they're very thin and i'm not sure what these are from i on, honestly i've got no idea i don't know where these have come from it could be pieces of a big end bearing or it could be maybe the piston has been scraping up the inside of the bore and shaving bits off it seems unlikely but I've also had a bit of a look at the top end I took I went ahead and took the glow plugs out and the injectors and the number three injector was completely covered in oil you might have noticed when I played that video of the engine running before it had a bit of a squeaking noise and when I took the glow plugs out and remove the compression from the engine. I turned, I turned the engine over and the squeaking noise wasn't there. So I put the injector and the glow plug back into number three. And when I did that, the squeaking returned. That's telling me that there's an issue in the number three cylinder there. So what I'm gonna do now is take the cap off the con rod on number three and have a look at the bearing and see if, see if these pieces have come from that. All right, I think I found where those metal shavings are coming from. That is the lower half of the big end bearing on the number three piston. And that has gone to God. And the top half is not even there. That's what all those metal shavings are in the bottom of the sump. So if we have a look at the crankshaft there, where is it? There. It's a bit hard to see because of the light, but that's pretty badly scored. Seriously roughed up. So it's not almost, not quite, but almost worst case scenario. Means, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pull the engine out, take the crankshaft out of the engine, get the crank machined, and then put a rebuild kit through it.
but at least we've found at least we've found the problem i think you know something like this doesn't happen overnight like look at that bearing it's been going it's been on the way for quite some time so it's a good thing that it happened close to home we've worked out what the problem was big end bearing is gone so i'm going to leave it there for now we will We'll reconvene in a little while. I'll start pulling bit pieces off the engine. I think I'll, it's, it's a big engine, it's very heavy, so I'll do it in stages. I'll, I'll start pulling bits off it. I'll pull the head off it and take that off and I'll start, I'll pull the intercooler and radiator and manifolds and all that sort of thing out. And then I'll get uh, my friend with a forklift next door to come and pull the block out with me. Then take the crank out, take it down the street and get it machined. And then we'll rebuild it so thank you all for watching thanks for coming on the journey with me and i'll see you next time